Hello, Matt Crossfield here. We've got a pitching lesson almost here, a swing sent through my app. We're gonna give him some help. Serious issue on the strike that we see with his, looks like a sand wedge. Um, and I'm quite enjoying this one because we don't get many swings like this. It's always drivers. People do always think it's their driver that's the problem. Always like that one. Often when I do tests with people, they hit um, their driver and they do slice it a bit. And let's say they hit two out of bounds in a round that cost them four shots, playing off say 15 handicap. We do some irons um, and they don't hit one on the green. So they don't see that as the problem because they're gonna find that ball. The fact that they're dropping say eight shots that way, they want to work on the four shots because the driver's more dramatic. It's a lost ball, you know, it's a big kind of blowout in their head. But actually when you break it down the shots lost, then they're not hitting the green with their seven iron ever, or kind of between nine through to five iron. Um, the amount of shots they're losing around those is always different. So this is a wedge one, quite an interesting um, little feeling with your wedge. I like lots of you to give this a go. Let's see if we can help him. Let's get stuck in. Okay, watch the swing, it's quite a good swing it from the back camera here, it looks like quite a decent move and the strike is kind of low and toey or low and necky, or kind of necky I can't tell, it looks like low and toey and the ball just skims off to the right, you know it's a pretty disastrous shot for the amount of club he's got in his hand, he could be hitting a 300 yard drive into a 380 yard hole, 80 yards in and does that, this in theory is the easy bit. Now what I see with this, and I see this quite a lot with golfers, he's got a sand wedge in his hand, but he's still making maybe his driver swing. So it looks a little bit first off like he kind of pulls back and up. So from this angle, as he gets around kind of hip to shoulder height with his hands, he pulls back and up, which making strikes with a club with such a sharp leading edge is going to be dangerous. Okay, and then the other thing he does is he makes quite a full back swing, quite a full follow through. For me, this is my 56 degree wedge. I would always be hitting balls, so middle to slightly back in my stance, slightly bit more weight on my front foot, maybe 70, kind of neat little shoulder turn, hand stop, neat little shoulder turn, hand stop. I've got no extra arms going beyond my shoulders. It's a tight little punchy thump forwards. I am all about trying to control face and path and strike. I'm not going to put any, if I try and hit a sand wedge like a driver, I also feel with the amount of loft, kind of contradicting where the lead and edge points, because the loft often can point in a different place to the lead and edge, certainly if you start playing with these angles, I feel like I could really miss target with it. So it's much more for me of a kind of ball the middle to slightly back, handle slightly forward, weight forwards, turning almost around my left foot more, turning more on top of the ball and definitely when my shoulders stop turning, my arms stop and as I come through I try and feel that my shoulders stop turning, my arms stop and then I'm dictating distance by how big a shoulder turn or smaller shoulder turn I make in my head. It makes the strike more crisp, more centred and it makes me feel like I can control face because I've got no kind of wobbling I feel like in my arms and hands. It's much more of a setting up, a decent setup, so grip through handle position then just to rotate through and a rotate through and it just crisps it all up. Ball then turf first and by having that weight forwards like that makes me really feel like I can get down into the dirt a bit more and get that ball and ground second. Got to get away from this kind of massive wind up that you get with such a small club. If you want this club to go further, use less loft. Let's pretend that's your 56. Use your 52 or use your pitching wedge and then use the same swing. So let's pretend this is a pitching wedge. So it goes further than the 56, but I wanted to hit the same distance. I'm going to do exactly the same ideas, maybe just a smaller turn and a turn um, because I've got less loft and that's going to send it further rather than me have to make the same turn as I did with my 56. See it a lot with golfers, they play a driver swing with a sand wedge, it's not the best way to play them, it's dangerous. You want to play more knockdown little shots with wedges, much more getting on a range and working with feel, controlling how far, how forward you have the handles and the lofts and the strike fine distance rather than thinking of all your normal kind of swing thoughts that you get out there. So much more feel based. Get that weight left, get the handle forwards, feel like turn on the ball and then turn through. Another great tip that helps so many as I do it with them. Feel like as your shoulders stop, your arms stop, shoulders stop, your arms stop. A more compact swing, more compact strike centered, 
you'll hit more targets. Hopefully get away from those horrible scully ones. Thanks for sending. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching. Hello, Matt Crossfield here. We've got a pitching lesson almost here. A swing sent through my app. We're going to give him some help. Serious issue on the strike that we see with his, looks like a sand wedge. Um, and I'm quite enjoying this one because we don't get many swings like this. It's always drivers. People do always think it's their driver that's the problem. Always like that one. Often when I do test with people, they hit um, their driver and they do slice it a bit. And let's say they hit two out of bounds in a round that cost them four shots, playing off say 15 handicap. We do some irons um, and they don't hit one on the green. But they don't see that as the problem because they're gonna find that ball. The fact that they're dropping say eight shots that way, they want to work on the four shots because the driver's more dramatic. It's a lost ball, you know, it's a big kind of blowout in their head. But actually when you break it down, the shot's lost, then they're not hitting the green with their seven iron ever, or kind of between nine through to five iron. Um, the amount of shots they're losing around those is always different. So this is a wedge one, quite an interesting um, little feeling with your wedge. I like Lotsford to give this a go. Let's see if we can help him.